some make alien worlds, like the folks at George Lucas's Industrial Light and Magic. They're the effects wizards who've worked on films from Star Wars to Star Trek. But each day at lunch, they sneak off to play Halo. I wanted to find out why. Are you kidding? Hey! hey. <laughs> I'm here in the halls of ILM, and you guys are playing Halo? You're having a LAN party here yep. at work. Yes. Are yes. you going to get in trouble if anybody finds out? Oh, it's OK. We're, we're big fans of Halo, but Your it doesn't mean that we're along. not fans of like LucasArts games or anything. We're kind of addicted to the Halo. <laughs> Does your work give you an added appreciation for this game, you think? Absolutely. The idea that we concentrate on uh, animation and performance and that we bring that sensibility to the you know art of filmmaking and then we watch Halo and we see the, the amount of detail that's been put into the art direction and the designs of like the spaceships and the characters. So it's, it's kind of like playing within a movie and we appreciate that. Oh! I'm looking for the ultimate fan. Have I found the ultimate fan, do you guys think? We found the ultimate team. Yes. The ultimate team. <laughs> now there's a heartwarming moment. I'd met dozens of fans and logged thousands of miles. But in lots of ways, I'd only scratched the surface. I had time for one more stop. I'm in Dublin. Someone had told me the bare naked ladies were big halo buffs, and I discovered they were on tour in Dublin, Ireland. Hey. Hi, I'm looking for Ed from the bare naked That's ladies. That's me. So can you translate halo into Canadian for me? Yes, absolutely. Um, the thing the thing that makes it difficult uh, playing Halo in Canada, of course, we have no handguns, <laughs> so it's all melee weapons. The bonus is free health care. If your Master Chief <laughs> goes down, down. Thank you for joining us for the kickoff of our tour of Ireland. I, I got contacted a while ago uh, by some folks at a, a, a small upstart video game company uh, called Microsoft. And they make a game called Halo. What's your favorite line from the game? Favorite line from the game? Bet you can't stick it. That's a good one. Rare is the game where the voice acting doesn't bother you. Right, sure. You know, that doesn't stick out and bother you. I guess what I like about Halo is that uh, it doesn't get it doesn't in the way. It doesn't you. bug you. I'm going to put that on my resume. Is that okay? Yeah. Because Jen, I'm the voice I of Cortana. I won't bug you. You're kidding! <laughs> Wow, well, you're really the voice of Cortana. Look how excited I just got. <laughs> oh my God, you're that person. I was supposed to recognize her from her voice, but she plays a translucent five inch high video game character. What did I learn on my journey? Our voice is being heard by so many fans out there. More than seven million of them. Artists, filmmakers, women warriors, and full-on Spartans. Some play Slayer, and some construct Zanzibar entirely out of blocks. But each builds a little piece of the game. Every time they play, they bring all that history with them. They do the work. I just voice the character. But each time I go out there, they're waiting. That's what they told me. And they wouldn't make a girl a promise they can't keep. Stop